All right. Uh, yesterday we took a look at an antenna that was used with this thing, and I believe this is just a transceiver, uh, a two-way preamplifier one way and an amplifier the other way. Um, you can power this thing up with 12 to 48 volts in here, or you can use PoE. Uh, people aren't familiar with that. That is um, um, Ethernet, power over Ethernet. Um, so in a building that has Ethernet, a lot of times the Ethernet cable has voltage running on it, actual power running on it, and you can steal that power and use it for this. And uh, you can bring in 12 to 48 volts of power over Ethernet in here. And then if you have a second device, you can daisy chain it. This is power over Ethernet output. So these are just wired together. Um, it's got two connectors. It's got an N and an N. And uh, this is the antenna. And this is the WAP, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi, I don't know. I'm not sure what WAP stands for. Um, so we're already taking the top loose here. It's got some LEDs, indicates power and transmit receive. You can watch it go back and forth. Um, got some neat little light pipes, but yeah, this thing's pretty fancy inside. Um, let me zoom down a bit. All right, uh, later I'll take it in under the microscope so we can look at these things fan be better, but you can see that there's some cool RF stuff going on. There's a thing over here that they thought maybe would put a can on it, but then they didn't. Um, they got this big uh, DC to DC converter right here spewing stuff into this RF section. So yeah, probably would have been a good idea to put a shield over there, but I guess it works. Uh, it looks like there's maybe some uh, inductor here to the center conductor. So to supply power to these pins here in case you needed to have a powered powered antenna, you could use the DC off of that. And then it's a AC coupled as a capacitor here, AC coupled into this thing. But basically uh, it, the uh, this goes into this and this goes into this. So all of the magic happens over here. And then this is just power supply stuff. So yeah, I think we should put it under the microscope so we get a better view of it. All right, let's take a look at this circuit here. Um, there is a connector over here, connector over here. So the antenna is on the right and the radio is on the left. And um, if you just draw a line down the middle here, everything below the line is power supply. Everything above the line is the radio stuff. All right. So um, the main path would be that it comes in this away. And there's a path that goes this away and like this, but there's also a path that goes this away and comes down. So two different paths and there's switches in there to, to either send it one way or the other. All right. So, uh, let's zoom in a bit here. Oh, look at the power supply first. Power supply kind of comes in this away. And there's a DC to DC to converter here, a real nice linear technologies chip here to do that. And some filtering and all that good stuff down here and a little bit of display down here that lights up the status of whether you're transmitting and receiving, and whether the power is on or not. So that is all that's going on there. Protection diode in the middle here. Make sure things aren't going the wrong way. And here's the other side of it. You can also bring in the power through the uh, power power on, inter, on the ethernet. It comes in here into a bridge rectifier and, and feeds the, uh, feeds the uh, DC to DC converter again. All right. All right. So like I said before, uh, the radio hooks up here. Uh, there's an inductor here to, I think for, for biasing, if it's needed, um, capacitor comes into the circuit. I believe, uh, this, this, uh, thing right here is a switch. So we can either go this away or we can go this away. And then maybe some stuff happens up this away. Um, not quite sure. Um, but we definitely have a path that goes this way. I believe this is a switch. It can either go this way or it can go this way. If it goes this way, it just goes on its merry way, goes through another switch, and then goes out. All right. If it goes up, 
then it comes into this thing and then into this thing and then into this thing and then and then out so this is kind of um i think the receive path is the low one and the transmit path is the high one uh i believe this is the amplifier here i think this might be a switched attenuator not quite sure uh, but this is definitely an amplifier i'll show that i'll show the data sheet for that a little bit later and then there are some filters in the thing. I'll show the filters next. Then I think this is the maybe the controller up up here. I, I don't know. It's got a label on it. Let's pull the label off. And I don't know what that chip is. But if I had to guess, i say it was a microprocessor. But I don't hold me to it. All right. So here's kind of the mostly of the path of the... Um, of the amplifier, so it goes through this thing, which is either a uh, attenuator or a switched something or other, you know, gain or something like that. This is definitely an amplifier. Um, this is an interesting part. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's labeled S1 um, and a chip up here, I don't know. So I'm not quite sure about that. Um, it, the path does go this away and then out, okay? And on its way, it can go through F1, F3, and those are on the transmit path. Those, so those are bandpass filters. And on the receive path, there's F2. Um, so, uh, yeah, those are interesting things. Um, yes, yeah, so that's about all I know. You probably know more than I do, but uh, it looks fairly straightforward and interesting. You just need to know what all these parts are. Uh, this is the nice chip that does the um, switching, or the, uh, the power supply switching, high voltage, uh, 1.5 amps. I mean, my high voltage, oh, it's up to 60 volts. And this thing's not working up there. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, sample circuit. Yeah, just just a, a, a boost converter. Or step down. Oh, yeah, it's a step down, isn't it? Yeah, step down. Okay. So you can have 60 volts in, and then it steps it down. So that's this thing will operate up to 48 volts, was it? 12 to 48 volts. So you have to step down converter to 3.3. .3. Um, uh, this is the... Uh, power amplifier, interesting. Uh, high gain, 31 dB. Uh, the output can be plus 27 dBm. That's pretty healthy. So there you go. Microwave monolithic integrated circuit. Yeah. Uh, here's a block diagram of it. Um, yeah, a couple stages in it. Looks nice. 